Hi. As the last slide mentioned, in this video I'm going to demonstrate ForcePoint's DLP OCR capability. Before I jump into the demos, I just want to set the stage real quick and show that I've cleared out all previous DLP incidents um, just to validate that we're starting from square one essentially. Now I already do have my policies in place. I'm primarily going to be looking at PII, HIPAA, some PCI, PEPIDA, um, the typical regulatory and compliance policies. And I'm also going to be in an audit only posture. So any of the images that I do transmit, they're not going to be blocked. It's going to be in, in an audit only posture. Now I'm at my client and I'm going to show you the two images that I'm going to be using in today's demonstration. The first is an x-ray image and this one really highlights the power of our OCR capability as it is a gray and white image with white text um, and our OCR capability is able to extract the information and apply the appropriate policies to that image. The second image is a screenshot of a notepad document that has some patient information, diseases, social security numbers, and credit card numbers. For the first demonstration, I am going to attach the images to a Gmail message. First I'll do the x-ray. So what happens here is when the image is attempted to be attached, it is stripped off and sent over to an OCR server which resides on the Windows server. The OCR scans the image, extracts any text, and then provides feedback. Now if this were a policy where the action were block, uh, it would have said attachment error and the attachment would have never gone through. Now back at the management console, I'm going to hit refresh and it's going to show you that an image was attached. Again, it's permit audit only for this particular policy. The severity level is based on how you construct the policy and the action plan. And then the other information is what is sort of organic to your organization, the source, so your username or if you have an AD integration. The policies that were hit on um, this particular action and then the specific channel. So as you can see, with any DLP incident, we, act, we actually also uh, retain the image. So you as the, as the administrator can see exactly what that user is trying to send out. So I'll just do a quick side by side. So we hit on uh, a HIPAA policy, a date of birth, and name. As you can see here, John Smith and his date of birth. Um, a Papita rule, which has a similar context um, as far as comparison to HIPAA. And then a social security number. Um, the first five digits are masked and the last four are visible. And as you can see here, it lines up perfectly. So I'm going to remove this attachment and then I'm going to attach the HIPAA image. Same process is going to occur here. The image is being sent to Gmail as an attachment. Before that happens, it is extracted or stripped off and sent to the OCR server for analysis. Quick refresh and same sort of incident, however, the data is different now that it's a different image and we've hit on much more. As you may recall, we had some names, diseases, social security numbers, credit card numbers, and it looks like we hit up on most of those. Five credit card numbers, five social security numbers. Let's hop back over to my client and let's go to Dropbox now. I'm going to add both of them at the same time, HIPAA and X-ray image. These are from an earlier demonstration. They're no longer in the repository, so we can disregard these top two. All right, looks like the HIPAA image attached. And just waiting on the X-ray image to attach, which should happen momentarily. OK. Do a quick refresh. And we see two incidents um, for each image. So top one is the x-ray image that finished last. And then the second incident is the HIPAA image that had social security numbers, um, names, and diseases, and credit card numbers. So we are able to extract the same information from both images via a different destination. 
and let's try a SharePoint site. So I'm going to upload these images to my SharePoint site. HIPAA and X-ray open and then hit OK. Alright, looks like they've uploaded. Do a quick refresh. And as you can see here, um, in this instance, both images were combined into one incident. It shows destination as my SharePoint site and on all the applicable policies that were triggered based on these images. Go back to my client and lastly, let's do a OneDrive upload. And again, I'm going to do both images. Let those process. All right, looks like two items have been uploaded. Go back to my management console, hit refresh, and again, here you're going to see two incidents for OneDrive. Um, one is going to be the HIPAA image, and then the other is going to be the X-ray image. And as you can see, in each one of these incidents, regardless of the destination, we were able to pretty much extract the same information each time. Um, we provided a pretty decent level of precision and accuracy. And that is a video on demonstrating the power of OCR. Thank you.